Flow Millie is that. Flow Millie is the new standard. The princess of hip hop. Fearless. Unstoppable. Flow Millie is the baddest breed. You talking about her? Flow Millie? Well, they never should have been gave me money. Came straight out of Bama, and I ain't funny. I swear all these be making me sick like shit. All they do is eat up some. Yeah, I'm in my prime, dog. They feed me like it's a block. Can't let up on no hook. So, who used to um do your hair growing up? I used to go to like this one shop, but I ain't gonna lie, she used to chop my hair off all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I see you very confident in your music. Mm -hmm. I mean, is you always like that? For me, it's been a personality trait, but a lot of people have pointed it out that it's confidence, but for me, it's just me being me. Complete bad vibes, like, mm -hmm. that's what I'm giving. Like, I'm that bitch when I walk in the door. And you do it well, because when you stepped in here, I was like, who is that? <laughs> that's so really? Yeah. It ain't up for debate When you shine, how I shine, you get a whole lot of hate I'm the sh and that's my mood every day If you try with me, it's a little too late I remember you as a child and how spontaneous and bubbly and vibrant, you know, that you were. And it was just so funny how you would always come up with different skits, you know, especially with your cousins. You know, you just had that personality. I just used to always want to dance and rap and just like be the life of the party. School came so easy for you. You graduated with advanced diplomas and with honors. I knew I wanted to be a rapper though. I was like, I'm doing all this for nothing because I'm gonna be a rapper. You are a strong role model for young women and it also promotes good grades. Right. So yeah, you did it for something. When I was 16, I had got like booked for this show. And at first I wasn't gonna tell you cause I don't think you knew I was rapping. When I was rapping, like I was cussing and I was kind of scared like you was gonna be like, stop. Um, <laughs> I was finna just go to Atlanta. I wasn't gonna tell you, I was just gonna get a mega bus ticket. Then I was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Like something could happen. So then that's when I told you and then you took me up there. It's like it was just yesterday when you left yeah. home, mm -hmm. and here it is. Uh, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. It only took one little video, and everybody <laughs> knows who you are. I mean, really, at what, 19 is when you got signed? Yeah. You know, Mobile is not a big city, mm -hmm. so that's huge. Growing up in Mobile was like, you know, living in poverty and stuff. It definitely taught me a lot. It taught me like to work harder than normal people. I used to work at this movie theater and I knew like nobody would be behind it throughout the day. So I just decided to like go over there every day and just like write music because I could blast my music there. Being a female from Mobile, like I think it's dope that I kind of broke a lot of barriers and stuff. When I first got on the radio, like all my cousins and family members, they would call me, tell me like, you on the radio? I just remember being so happy. That's how I knew I was like doing the right thing. Bad little from Bama, she know they can't stand her. Something you can't handle, I don't really got no manners. I'ma f them in my Gucci sandals. So many hating hoes in the comments. Look on my page and make them wanna vomit. I'm the trending topic, I know they be watching. I'm really popping if we being honest. Yes. 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 Tamia, I don't know if you realize, but you come from a family of women that ha are, are just determined to be our own people and to, you know, just excel at whatever we do. Just knowing what you overcame and seeing my mom overcome a lot and being a single mother, I already knew we already had strength instilled right. upon us and we would always be able to like overcome things that we go Any through. Any kind so. of obstacles. So whenever I'm going through stuff, I just remember I come from like a bloodline that we don't we don't stop. I get DMs all the time and girls are like, you just need to know it's a dark skinned girl out there somewhere that like needs you. I'm just being myself, but for somebody out there, they need that type of confidence. You don't know like where people come from. So it's just dope to know like I'm that role model for, you know, certain girls. 
being, you know, from poverty. And I just made it my mission to change that. I want to change my circumstances. I want to make history. I had so many people tell me that I couldn't do it. Look at where I'm at now. now I'm